In this video, we're going to talk about how to write the equation of a quadratic when you're just given three points. So we're going to work with a system of equations involving three variables, three equations, and I'm going to show you how to work with this problem. Now, if you want to test yourself, go ahead and try it, and then we'll go through it together. But remember, when you're writing the equation of a quadratic, which the graph is a parabola, it's in this form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Our goal is to figure out what a, b, and c are. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first point here, one, zero, I'm gonna put zero in for our y variable, and I'm gonna put one in for x. So if we do that, we're gonna get a times one squared plus b times one plus c. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the second coordinate here. The y value is negative seven when the x value is two. So I'm gonna put two in for x. And then same thing with the third point, we have negative 20 is equal to a times three squared plus b times three plus c. So these are our three equations uh, and we wanna solve this system. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is kinda of simplify this down a little bit. So one squared is one, so this is just gonna be a. Uh, b times one is b and c and I'm just gonna flip this equation so this is all equal to zero. Now, same thing with the second equation, two squared is four times a is gonna give us four a, two times b is gonna give us two b, plus c is equal to negative seven, and the same thing with this third equation, three squared is nine times a, which is nine a, plus three b, plus c is equal to negative 20. Okay, so now we've simplified a little bit we want to pick one of the variables to eliminate, either the a's, the b's, or the c's. I'm going to work with the c's because you can see we just have one c in each equation. So I think that's going to be the easiest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these first two equations here, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this top equation by negative one. And the reason I'm doing that, I'll show you in just a second, is that's going to flip the signs here. It's going to make this negative a negative b, negative c, and zero times negative one is still zero. This equation here, I'm just gonna keep it just like it is, so that's gonna be uh, 4a plus 2b plus c equals negative seven. So the reason I did that, multiply everything by negative one, is because if this is a negative c and this is positive c, then when we add these equations together, what's gonna to happen to the c's? They're gonna cancel out, right? So negative one a plus four a is three a, two b plus negative b is one b, and zero plus negative seven is negative seven. Okay, so let's just circle that for a moment. Now, we use the first two equations. Sometimes this is where students go a little bit off track. You want to also use that third equation and you wanna stick with the same variable that you were trying to eliminate. In this case, we decided we're gonna eliminate the c's, so we're gonna eliminate the C here using this third equation. We can combine it with the second or with the first. I tell you what, let's just combine this third equation with this first equation that we multiplied by negative one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this equation here, I'm gonna bring it down, negative A minus B minus C is equal to zero. And I'm gonna add these two equations together and you can see the C and the negative C cancel one another out. Nine A minus one A is eight A. 3b minus b is 2b, and negative 20 plus zero is negative 20. So now look, we're down to two variables and two equations. So this is the system that we wanna solve now. Do we wanna to try to eliminate the a's or do we wanna to try to eliminate the b's? I think b is gonna be a little bit easier. If we can just make this negative 2b, when we add it to this equation, the positive 2b, the b's will cancel. So let's go ahead and multiply this whole equation by negative two. So if we do that and distribute negative two in here, that's gonna give us negative six A, negative two B, and negative two times negative seven is uh, positive 14. So now when we add these two equations together, you can see the B's are canceling. We're getting eight A minus six A is two A, negative 20 plus 14 is negative six, and you can see now we're down to just one variable, one equation, so you can see how we went from three to two to one. Now if we divide both sides by two, you can see that uh, A is coming out to negative three. And then what we wanna do now is we wanna work our way backwards. So if A is negative three, we can put it into one of the equations that has just two variables. 
So let's just put it into this one over here. So that's going to be 3 times negative 3 plus b equals negative 7. So that comes out to negative 9 plus b equals negative 7. Add 9 to both sides. And you can see that b is coming out to positive 2. So now we have a and b. We want to work back to the three variable equations, one of the original ones. I'll just do this top one right here. So this comes out to, let's see, a which is negative 3 plus b which is 2 plus c which we don't know, and that is going to equal 0. So we have negative 1 plus c equals 0. Add 1 to both sides, and you can see see that c is coming out to 1. That's hard to say. So now you can see we've got our a, b, and c. All we have to do now is put it in for a, b, and c here, and that's going to be the equation of our quadratic. So let's go ahead and do that. So that comes out to y equals negative 3x squared plus 2x plus 1, and that's the equation of our parabola. So Great job if you were able to get that one on your own. If you want to see another example, I'll put a link to a video right there where I talk about similar problems just like these. So if you want more practice, follow me over to that video right there, and we'll get some more practice.